happy man. <laughs> I've been going to the places where we used to meet before. Cause lately I've been feeling so confused. Don't you worry about me, baby. I have everything I need. If you care about me, baby, tell me why you chose to leave. Do you really think you know me? Do you think you have me all figured out? Hey. We started our first day in Madrid from the yummiest breakfast. Generally, Spanish breakfast is a very light meal and usually consists of a coffee with some sweet pastry, followed by a heavier lunch later on. Of course, we had to start our day from trying traditional Spanish churros dipped in hot chocolate, and it was the best. What's the first feeling? After breakfast we went on wandering through the cities of central Madrid and came to the city's main square, Plaza Mayor. Although it's cultural importance, there are much more beautiful spots in Madrid, in my opinion. So we didn't spend much time there and soon headed to explore the cobble streets of central Madrid which are packed with restaurants, tapas bars and shops, including jamón shops, with a great variety of choice. Next we headed towards Madrid's most famous sites, and the first stop on our way was Almudena Cathedral, a gorgeous 19th century building with a stunning neo-Gothic interior. Next to the cathedral is located Madrid's another famous site. Royal Palace of Madrid and the queue for the Royal Palace of Madrid. The Royal queue. The Royal queue. While Philip was standing in the queue for the tickets, I went to see the city view opening from the viewing platform near the palace entrance. And honestly, I was super surprised to see how green Madrid is. We really liked the palace exterior as well as interior. The royal chambers were super impressive, but unfortunately it was not permitted to shoot inside. Some dance, royal dance. Madrid is an ideal city for walking. My first impression of the city was that Madrid mostly consists of wide, spacious streets and majestic buildings, but as soon as we took a turn into the historic center, you see a completely different Madrid here. Somehow cozy, very colorful and super photogenic. Meanwhile, we got hungry and decided to step by Madrid's most famous food market. You can try and. Uh, Italian, Italian tasty. The, <laughs> you don't know it yet. Ah, but it's good, please. Mm. How is it? Mm. Good? Well. How is it? Good Spanish wine. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you come to Madrid, make sure to visit the city's biggest and most famous park, Retiro Park, which covers almost 125 hectares of land and is located very close to the center of Madrid. It's a perfect spot to hide away from the noise of the city and the midday heat and also you can get very close to nature here. <laughs> well fed, <laughs> happy man! Besides the greenery, you will also find a very photogenic place here, just in the middle of the park, called Palacio Cristal or Crystal Palace. Here you can play with light and take some really, really nice photos. Recharging our batteries in the park, we headed to Madrid's railway station to get our tickets to Barcelona for the next day. The station itself became a place of interest thanks to its beautiful tropical garden built just inside the station. When we came out from the station it was already getting late, so we decided to head back to the center of Madrid and get some food. For dinner we chose a famous local restaurant called La Casa de Abuelo or Grandpa's House and tried their specialty dish, garlic shrimps and they were super delicious. We just checked out and we are on the way to leave our luggages at the luggage living spot and then ready to explore more of Madrid. We have one full day today, still some things to see and then we just want to wander around and enjoy the city. After the flea market, we headed to our new favorite spot in Madrid, San Miguel's food market, to try famous Spanish paella, which turned out very decent. Classic paella. <laughs> First time in my life, but I know that it's a classic place of paella. <laughs> It was time for dessert and there was no doubt about what we were going to choose. We were finally trying out Spanish turron, which is a kind of nougat usually made from almonds, egg white and honey or sugar. You can buy it literally on every corner in Madrid and it tastes just out of this world. flea market in the morning and generally I like flea markets I don't know it kind of shows you the atmosphere of the city in a way though they're all more or less similar but still it's pleasant to see uh, like uh, lots of people together um, getting their small things bargaining but this one was an exception I mean it was very cool and very big and you can really get all the nice stuff but there were so many people I've never seen so many people any market before we could hardly move through the crowd so we decided just to leave that place and if it comes to plans for the day we decided to uh, not to go far away we had like a couple of parks marked which are a little bit far away from the center but i guess we are lazy to go and it's more interesting to wander through this uh, cobble streets of madrid central madrid than go there so we decided to continue exploring this central areas because it feels like this uh, streets are just uh, limitless and endless. There's so many of them, all crowded with shops, uh, uh, cafes, bars, tapas bars. Uh, I don't know, it just feels like it never ends. Food everywhere, and we came back to the place we were yesterday for 
the best churros in Madrid. Guys, these churros are worth eating. We, it's already worth what, coming back second time. Second time this place, but we already we thought at the beginning that we would just try these churros once, and that would be it because there's nothing special about some pastry dipped in oil and uh, chocolate. But they are very yummy and super crispy and tender and. Uh, yeah, so today is the day of uh, eating, 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 <laughs> and wandering around Madrid. We wanted to go to the Museum of La Reina Sofia, but today is Sunday and it's only open till 2.30. So we decided not to rush because you need to get tickets beforehand and uh, skip it. We're generally not fans of museums, but this one kind of was uh, interesting to see because they have collections of Dali paintings and also of Picasso but yeah we didn't make it so the plan for today is eating <laughs> I will remember Madrid by two things. First of all, the yummiest food and the amount of great restaurants on every corner. And secondly, city's stunning architecture. Madrid is a really cool city and a great spot for your weekend getaway. Used to be feared, used to be respected and so cool. 